Continue to feel more questions here for us Samili. Student asked from within the Telegram group, Mike, is the curve on the step one going to be harsher in the final three months before it goes to pass fail? Can you explain how the curves work, the recommendation for the best time to take this test? I have made prior YouTube clips on the step one going to pass fail and whether it's going to be easier, harder, etc. I don't carry the entitlement. You're going to go back through my YouTube that way. So to address this question, I can give you some very concrete, clean value here. So before we get started, I will be a quick asshole, tell you to subscribe to my channel. I really appreciate it. Hit the like button. Hit the bell if you want notifications. Find me on Instagram at melman underscore medical, M-E-H-L-M-A-N underscore medical. Link is down below. Find me on Telegram. Recently created a Telegram group and channel. Links are down below. Now addressing the student's question here as far as is the curve going to be harsher for test takers for the step one in the three months prior to pass fail? What about after it goes to pass fail? How do the curves work, recommendations, etc.? Look, after the step one goes to pass fail, I have opined that the exam will be easier to pass, okay? And this is because the pass mark is set as a result of how well students are performing. Now, the current pass mark for the numerical step one is a 194. When I sat the step one a decade ago, it was a 188. And the reason that's increased is because essentially the same percentage of students. Now, I'm not sitting here with some objective Excel spreadsheet as though the USMLE has told me it's going to be 3% of students who passed. It's nothing like that. But we know average scores have increased. When I sat a decade ago, the average score was 224 with a pass of 188. Now the average score is about 131-ish with a pass score of 194. Students are scoring higher. The pass mark moves up. So when the step one goes to pass fail, why will it be easier to pass? It's because people aren't going to be as gunner as they are now for that 260, 270 plus. You might be in a position where you're scoring, let's say, a 235 or 240 on the NBMEs. And you just say, I'm just, I'm comfortable now. I'm just going to sit the step one. You get your pass, okay, after it goes to pass fail next year, and then you can move on to step two. So the the average scores are not going to be as high, okay? People, you're not going to get as many people who are gunner, and the pass mark numerically for their internal scoring will be lower. So there will be people who pass after it goes to pass fail uh, who probably would not pass while the exam is still numerical. That's interesting value, okay? Because if you're really struggling to pass, uh, we probably don't want you sitting when the exam's numerical if you can hold out if you can hold out because why get a 197 or 194 if you can prevent it and uh, why not just sit after it goes to pass fail when I just communicated that the internal pass mark will likely be lower now will the exam be harder uh, or will this scale be harsher before it goes to pass fail I don't think so because uh, if every student gets the same percentage correct uh, he or she is still going to get the same numerical score on on that particular form, okay? If, if students were all to sit the same form. In other words, if you get 100 students sitting the same form, if students, if students uh, get a higher percentage correct on average, uh, they're still going to score the same, okay? So it's not curved like in med school where the USMLE will force certain students to have a lower versus a higher score. It doesn't work like that. As I said, if students are scoring better, if performances are higher, uh, th that'll simply shift the pass mark up or down, okay? But you could still get a theoretical 242 just as easily whether you sit the exam now or whether you sit it in early January, okay? A lot we can talk about. You know the deal. I'm going to continue to make more content. If you like my stuff, subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate your time. That's it.